Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and I'm a waxaholic. And today I've got a small haul to share with you guys. So I have my most recent pre-order from Sassy Girl Aroma. And it's a little on the smaller side for me. So I only got five brittles, but it's a small but mighty order. Let's see. One is a repeat purchase and the rest of them are new to me since. So that's really exciting. So I've got, I think, five, maybe six outstanding pre-order orders from Sassy Girl Aroma. Like, what on earth? Like, why am I like this? But including one that I made today, because, like, I think it's just, you know, pre-order Palooza is coming to an end. And I said I'm going to go on a low buy in October, hopefully November and December, if I can stand it. And I think I'm just trying to like get it all out of my system before October starts. So I've confirmed Southbound is having a pre-order, I think next week. And then Rose Girls just opened hers today. Sassy Girl did one yesterday. Um, the pharmacist's daughter has one open right now. I did like a Salt Mountain Melts mystery box yesterday. I think Britta's is opening an RTS or something soon. About in Harper James, that's the other one. Harper James opened a pre-order yesterday or today. I'm still like on the fence about whether or not I'm gonna order. I may try to place a small order and just try her wax again and see how it does for me because there's a lot of good scents on there. So I guess September is just like spendy September for me. Oh, and hopefully the rest of the year will be thrifty and no spendy <laughs> rest of the 2023 for me. I think Susan, my friend Susan Fitzpatrick, you guys know her, I'm sure, is no more till 24. She said that <laughs> when we were chatting and I thought that was so funny. So hopefully after September, I mean, with maybe like a few, just a few purchases, one being Candles from the Keeping Room's last opening and then maybe a sassy girl, maybe um, a vintage chic if she posts something because she's closing as well. I don't know. But it's going to be few and far between. So I just got back from a business trip yesterday to Philadelphia. And I came back to just a large stack of boxes. So I'm quite behind. I've got a lot of videos already filmed that I need to edit and upload. I've got a lot of videos to film tonight. So if you see me in the same thing just know that I am going to try to film a lot of videos tonight and kind of try to get caught up. So get ready for a lot of videos for me. Sorry. But anyways, back to Sassy Girl. I'm just super chatty. I'm out of the loop. I didn't really have a lot of time to watch videos or like follow releases or anything while I was gone. So I made up for it yesterday and today with all of my purchases. So anyways, back to my small haul. Sassy Girl Aroma always comes with a business card. Julie and Tyrell are the owners. Y'all know Sassy Girl is one, if not the favorite vendor of mine. Um, love her wax. And so, you know, I went in for this pre-order with the mentality of I'm just going to buy a few things. And I did. Five brittles, which is really small for me. So, I'm proud of myself. I got this sample. I don't know if you can see the font. It's very small. It's called Nesting. I've never gotten this sample or heard of this blend, so I don't know if it's new. I think I've seen it on a few other people's hauls, so maybe this is a newer blend, but as always, I will put the notes on the screen if I can find them, and we can all see how far off I am on describing them. This smells kind of like, it's giving me a little fresh, like, perfumey vibe. It smells kind of like a citrus-leaning, fruity perfume. It's really pretty. I would totally wear this in a perfume. But it's almost like the perfume vibes of like a... I say this a lot about Sassy Girl. It's like a bougie hotel lobby. When you walk in, it's just... It smells really nice. It's like a bright, bubbly scent. It's really nice. I would, again, totally wear that in a perfume. So good. Okay. So let's start with the repurchase brittle. And I bet if I asked you guys to guess, you would guess it like first go. This is Bob Jones. I rave about this all the time and it is just a favorite. It's amazing if you like bakery. It's brown sugar, zucchini bread, and Old Town Bake Shop. And if you watch my videos, 
you can skip ahead because you already know how much I love this scent. It's just, it's just good, okay? It's amazing. Look how beautiful. I hardly ever show, like, the full brittle, but the colors, I mean, her wax is stunning. So this is zucchini bread, brown sugar, and then Old Town Bake Shop is just kind of like a, a bakery, like vanilla-based bakery, I think, scent. And the three of them blended together is just magical. I feel like on cold, it smells really nice. Don't get me wrong. It smells great. Like you get the zucchini bread, you get the sweet brown sugar, you get the bakery vibes in the background. You get all the notes. But when you warm it, Julie has a really great zucchini bread. And you just get that. It's, it's just, it's bakery. Like you're walking into a bakery but with zucchini bread. And it's just like, that's the star of the show on warm. It's amazing. I'm obsessed with it. And like I said, I buy this. If I'm going to participate in a pre-order and she's offering it, I'm picking it up. It's that good. Okay. The rest of these brittles are new to me. So the first one is Hocus Pocus. Fresh pumpkin with creamy coconut, warm spicy notes of cassia. Is that how you say that? Cassia? and clove with a base of maple, precious woods, and smoky bourbon. So this one's got a lot going on, but I thought it would be nice for the fall. So I love like fall scents, pumpkin pecan waffles, pumpkin cake, pumpkin cake batter, pumpkin souffle, Macintosh apple. Like I really like those scents, but I feel like with Sassy Girl, she just takes it like a step above and it's like a level of sophistication and depth in her sense, if that makes sense. And so, I mean, this has a lot going on, but I feel like she blends things so well. It's just so sophisticated and it just smells like fall, but like sophisticated fall. And yeah. It smells great. So, I don't get any of the coconut. I do get the bourbon, a little bit of maple. I get the spices. I don't know what precious woods are. But this is just a really pretty creamy, like pumpkin. You get the spice, you get the bourbon and maple, sweeten it up a little bit. It's just a really pretty fall scent. I mean, there's no cinnamon, so it's not like a craft store. It's just pumpkin spice maple and bourbon it's gorge i bet this is really going to be strong on warm i really love it so if you guys have tried hocus pocus let me know what you think next i got jam and cookies wild jam and donut with sugar cookies and is wild jam and donut just like jelly donut and sugar cookies is wild jam and donut wild berry jam with, with donuts I'm not too sure, but it does smell like berry filling donut. Get the bready note with the sugar cookies in the background. It smells really nice. It does kind of smell like a wild berry jam. I don't know, but you get more of like the donut and the sugar cookies on the back. The more of like the berry in the front, but yeah, really, really nice. Next, I got Evenings by the Fire, Beach Nights, Palo Santo, Smoked Vanilla, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's, created by Candace Stalling. So I'm really excited about this one. I love Sassy Girl Aromas Beach Nights. It's the best out there, in my opinion. Her Beach Nights is just a step above. It's amazing. I love Smoked Vanilla. I love Palo Santo and Cupcakes at Tiffany's is just a good blender bakery for me. I don't really care for it by itself because I feel like the chocolate notes tends to come out more when it's just Cupcakes at Tiffany's. But if it's blended with other things, I feel like it's just a beautiful bakery blender. So this must be a new one since it says created by Candace. Wow. This is amazing. The smoked vanilla and Paulo really blend beautifully together to give it that warmth. The beach nights plus warmth. And then you get a little bakery with the cupcakes at Tiffany's. 
I truly get all of the notes. This is gorgeous. I feel like maybe the Palo is what I'm smelling the most on cold. But I do get the Beach Nights. I do get the Cupcakes at Tiffany's. And I do get the Smoked Vanilla, which is another note that I really love. Gosh, that is so good. The more I smell it, the more I love it. And I loved it the first time I smelled it. But gosh, I can't wait to warm this. I would definitely, even though I'm not buying loaves, unless it's just like something I know I love and I just never want to run out of or haven't hasn't been offered in a while, would totally buy a loaf of this. So Candace did a wonderful job. That is so good. And then my last brittle is Winter Biscuits. Now, I've heard a lot of things about Winter Biscuits, mostly good. Um, and honestly, this is not one of those scents that I would just be like reading the notes and be like, yes, I need to get this. It's actually kind of the opposite. It's not that I don't like the notes, but it's just they scare me a little bit. So this is the sweet scent of Christmas baking permeates the home with warm hints of cinnamon, buttery pastries, gingerbread cookies, and patchouli. So you had me until gingerbread cookies and patchouli. Gingerbread, I don't mind if it's mixed with like a creamy eggnog or like a lot of bakery to like tone down the spice of the gingerbread because I feel like a gingerbread spice is a little like too strong for me. So that and the patchouli, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is just going to be too spicy for me. Even with the buttery pastries, hint of cinnamon, Christmas baking, I just didn't really know how to feel about it. But the bakery is what saved it because I thought, you know, so many people are raving about this scent. It can't be terrible. And if it is, so many people like it, I'll just de-stash it and shouldn't have a hard time because it's like all the buzz right now. So, here goes nothing. Let's see what this smells like. Okay, so I get the patchouli. Definitely get the patchouli. And I don't hate patchouli. It just has to be blended with the right things in the right way for me to be able to warm it. And yeah, I smell it, but it definitely is toned down. I think the buttery pastries and other like baking elements... Yeah, I get the gingerbread cookies, which also, I don't know if it's because it's gingerbread cookies and not just gingerbread, definitely toned down too. It's spicy, it's spicy, but there's so much bakery, buttery pastries, cookies, a little bit of cinnamon. It's really nice. And the more I smell it, the less I smell the patchouli. I smell it. I mean, if patchouli's in a blend, you're going to smell it. It's one of those. It's just like strong. It's out there. It's like, hey, look at me. I'm here. But like I said, Julie is very good at blending. And it, this is just really beautiful. It's a different winter scent, which I like. You know, not that I don't like old favorites or things that like have been done very many times in different ways. I do enjoy those. Some of those are my favorite scents. But this is unique. And I think the patchouli really sets it apart, honestly. It gives it, it's so different. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to melting this. So if you've tried winter biscuits on warm, let me know how it did for you in your home. So that is my small haul. I'm sure it's not that short of a video because I'm super chatty tonight. I guess I've missed talking to you guys this week while I was gone, but small but mighty sassy girl aroma haul and stay tuned because i've got like at least eight or nine other videos i need to film probably won't get to all of those tonight but i'm going to try to put a decent dent in the stack of happy mail over here that i came home to so let me know if you participated in this pre-order or how many outstanding pre-orders you have with sassy girl aroma it's just so incredibly hard to resist her list they're so good and um, yeah, let me know if you participated. Let me know if you picked up any of the same scents and what your experience warming them are. And thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, week, or weekend. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video very soon. Bye.